gyroscopic precession. Why can't we understand it? Could it be that we simply don't experience it in everyday life and therefore struggle to instinctively predict it? This video does not discuss gyroscopic precession in scientific detail, but simply why we don't instinctively understand it and how we can understand it, or at least a method that's helped my understanding of it. Precession is the movement of a spinning body's axis relative to its surroundings. Why should it confuse us if it is subject to the simple laws of motion that we experience in the world every day? Newton's laws of motion state a body should remain either static or travelling in its original direction until affected by another force. If an object's movement is straight it is known as linear and if it is turning it is known as angular. Let's look at these laws of motion in more detail. It's easy to see how linear and angular motion maintain their original direction if unaffected by outside forces. With linear motion we can see how an object follows an influencing force. We can even predict the complex interaction of linear forces on a body. When it comes to angular momentum, our predictions can sometimes be 90 degrees out and have alarming consequences. I believe the reason for this is because we forget that the gyro or spinning body already has angular motion shown here in red and this follows the direction of the influencing force shown in green. There may be some examples which take a little more thinking about. The gyroscope precesses around its pivot like a spinning top, seemingly without direction. Gravity is the influencing force acting down along the gyroscope's axis. The angular motion or spin of the gyroscope is at 90 degrees to this, so the two cannot align. If the two forces could align, the outcome would be very different. Now we can see that the flywheel is always turning towards alignment, but can never reach it. If we want to predict the direction of this precession, then there is one more factor to consider. When a gyroscope travels around an orbit, it has an inside and an outside edge, which are turning in opposite directions. The increased leverage at the outside edge means that this direction has the most momentum. The rotation of the gyroscope will align with this force, conserving maximum momentum. 
With this spinning top or gyro arrangement, the downside of the flywheel is trying to align with the downward force. Like following a rainbow, as much as the flywheel turns, the axis is always the same distance ahead of it. I hope this principle helps you as much as it has helped me. Thank you for watching.